so we're walking over to the salt marsh and I'm thinking I see the loggerhead shrike right here just dive into the bushes uh, or into the grassland here and probably be picking up an insect or a lizard or something but um, you see there's a bunch of uh, cactus over here a puntia littoralis also known as a uh, coastal prickly pear the island shrike is a really cool or shrikes in general they're murderous birds and what they do is they actually will grab their prey and impale them onto some sort of sharks sharp spike so either that's one of these cactus spines or even on barbed wire um, but it's it's a pretty interesting bird we'll see if we can get it closer on film So cool. We Looks like we got a dog fight between a bald eagle. Oh, at least a bald eagle, and I don't know what the other one is. Doesn't have any. So cool. All right, so we were just anchored here, right outside the Avalon. We tried to get close enough so Clara could have work. Um, reception but um, as soon as we got set on anchor uh, we, we, there was a dog fight between a bald eagle and we're trying to identify what the other thing was what are you saying a dark there it is again do you see it yeah so we have two different birds here and they're fighting it out for either food or territory or um, something it looked like the bald eagle had some sort of prey in its talons so it could have been a chick from the nest, but I think it's a little late for that. Um, it could be a prey. It's a chick. But yeah, there's there's bald eagles right up here along the the, the cliff. Sorry, I'm yelling. <laughs> yeah, you're excited. Um, they're because they just perch. They're perching together. Hmm. They're perching together. They are. Yeah, look, they're in the tree. Oh. So do you think it's a? Um... So it's a bald eagle and oh, another be. eagle or a bald eagle? I think it's just a, uh, a juvenile. It's got to be a baby. Maybe. Really cool. So bald eagles here at Catalina Island. Uh, they they had a really rough time here on the islands. It is a marine bird that will uh, eat fish and things like that. But um, they're native here to the island, but they almost were completely wiped out. Uh, DDT was a... Uh, Insecticide used uh, quite extensively in the early part of the century, and then, um, but it almost melted their shells uh, the, of the eggs. So um, it, it makes malformed eggs, and so they've almost completely were wiped out here on the island um, and elsewhere. So there is effort to bring back the the bald eagle here on the island. Um, they're doing a lot better now that the DDT has been banned. Um, and they're trying everything they can to make sure that the, the nests uh, are successful. So uh, we're really lucky that we were able to see uh, a bald eagle here on Catalina Island. Very cool. Bald eagles, marine birds, native here to, uh, to Catalina Island. So as we came up a little further, it's definitely this island woodland with this uh, riparian creek running through with fresh water. And I'm trying to be real quiet because um, there's just a ton of birds in this little location. So I saw some uh, some towhees and I'm trying to figure out what the other little yellow birds are. Definitely a songbird. Um, we'll see what we can find here. We're just going to relax, try to stay as quiet as I can. Right, Jack? 
she's not helping, but <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what birds we can find and um, we'll identify them. Really cool spot. passed out on my backpack. So this is really cool. So we heard some acorn woodpeckers earlier and uh, I figure, you know, we have uh, oaks here. We have the uh, island scrub oaks, uh, Quercus pacifica, uh, for their food source. But they, ha they also seem to use these uh, ironwoods, these um, Catalina ironwoods. And I can tell because uh, Acorn woodpeckers are cavern nesters. They nest in holes, and um, you can see signs of them on this ironwood that uh, that are made by the acorn woodpecker that can peck out the hole, probably from areas of existing holes, and just make it into this kind of really perfectly round shape. But um, yeah, all part of that habitat and that um, uh, that these acorn woodpeckers need to be able to survive. So you got the food source with the the oak, and then you got the habitat or housing um, or shelter that they, they need for nesting in these uh, these ironwoods. So this is Catalina ironwood, Lyanothamnus floribundus, subspecies floribundus. That was cool. So uh, what I thought may have been the island loggerhead shrike, which I've seen here before at, um, at two harbors right here in this grassy area, was actually a pair of um, American kestrels. So these are raptors. They're, um, they're falcons, really, the smallest falcons in the world. And yeah, they're right here and it looks like they were picking off um, whatever kind of prey they could find here in this little converted grassland um, at the isthmus. So pretty cool. So one thing that's kind of cool, I kept hearing these splashes, which I thought was maybe, you know, somebody jumping off their boat or, or just playing in the water. But sure enough, what it is, is these brown pelicans I hear one's about to fly by us right here. And what they do is they scan around the water and looking for fish and then do a dive and plunge right into it. See if we can catch it on film. So one of the more prominent features you're going to see here uh, as you enter into Cabrillo Beach is this rock formation over here. Uh, I think it's called Little Gibraltar, I'm not sure, but, um, oh, and there he goes. That was really cool. That was an acorn woodpecker and uh, how about eating at somebody's um, bird feeder, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. We may see more on the trail though, because right now it's just about, well, it's Halloween today, but right, yeah. around, <laughs> right around November is uh, when a lot of the acorns are starting to set. I love this time of year when all the toyon berries are starting to ripen.
All right, so right behind me, it's really hard to see on camera and for good reason, because these are really cryptic uh, snowy plovers. They're a federally threatened species and they like this upper kind of flatter sandy land. Here you have the snowy plovers. They're really light colored. They like to kind of hide these little pockets in you know, the sand and it's really hard to see them. Unlike other plovers and other species, these birds, the snowy plovers, do not migrate. So because of that, it's kind of to their detriment because then they, what they do is they hang out on these sandy beaches all year round. So come summer, it's the most populated areas where people will come out and, um, you know, use the, the beach and, and their habitat. So they have a very sensitive habitat um, and other uh, animals and things like that. That's why Jack's tied up right now at the dinghy um, can really do a lot of harm to their, their nesting habitat, which is right here on the sand. So I heard a quail and forgot that we have an island subspecies of quail here on Catalina. So this is a pretty rare bird uh, that's insulated here on Catalina Island. They're just bouncing around the campsites and there's not a whole lot of people out right now. So they're just roaming around. They're very timid. I have Jack tied up to a pole. The markings on them are a little different than what you'd see on the mainland. They may be a little bit different in size. In fact, they look a little bit larger here. But yeah, these are island quail. Thank you.